What a way. Oh, you're what a way, Jess. And now it's time for me and Joe oh. to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Friday this morning. Yeah. Well, well that was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant performance you, for the cast of the River Dance there. And you've actually got some really exciting news to share with us, haven't you? Yeah. We do. We're, we... joined, we're joined by Amy, Amy and Fergus. What is this exciting news? Go ahead. She was quite tired. <laughs> We are ready to embark on our 30th anniversary tour of Riverdance, which is the new generation. It's the first time ever that the cast will be entirely younger than the show. Excuse me a second. <laughs> 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 that is the first time the whole cast is younger than that. I feel Aww. terrible interviewing you two because you're all <laughs> absolutely shattered. Um, OK, so how did you both get into Irish dancing? Have like, you always done it since you were kids? I started when I was eight years old. I saw Riverdance on TV, instantly fell in love with it. My little sister, who's over there... Oh, <laughs> hey. oh hello! Also, obviously, dances, and she started before me, and once I saw her doing so well, I was like, I'm just obsessed. I have to start doing it. Yeah. So, you know, you go through the... You go to the classes and you go through the competition phase, and then, luckily enough, we both got the opportunity to join Riverdance. But it is oh, incredible, amazing. like, the impact yeah. the chase that Riverdance had on, on, on Ireland. Yes. Like, it was... And I remember watching it live. And 94 was a really good Eurovision as well. Yes. Um, there it is. There. And it was oh, like, God. it was almost like a flash mob. Do you know what I mean? It was yeah. like no one expect. I don't think anyone expected to see that on the night. Yeah. 30 years of Riverdance, and you know, yes. we all know, we all love it. Amy May, like, what does it mean to yourself to be part of such an iconic show? And, and how do your family react to it as well? Oh, my gosh. It means absolutely everything to every single one of us to be part of this show. We grew up, we grew up being inspired by Riverdance. We dreamed of being on the stage, so now to be doing it every night to audiences around the world, it's truly a dream come true, and we cannot wait to see what RD30 looks like. If the creatives are there working that out. At yeah. the moment, you're on the 25th anniversary. Tour. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So that's still going, and then it's like you start like painting one of them big bridges. You just never stop, right? <laughs> yeah. You finish that, and then you'll be doing the 30th. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, have you gotten gotten to see the 25th anniversary I show? Know. Well, you'll have to come to the 30th anniversary show. He's, yeah. This guy is good. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, good. you should. <laughs> Tickets are available. Next Friday, the Hang on 25th a second, of March. To be doing. <laughs> <laughs> Burger on fire! Right? Very good, isn't it? Yeah. How, how do the audiences react to you around the world? Because you literally tour China. You go everywhere, don't you? Yes. New York, America. You're everywhere. So how do they react to you from all, all these destinations? We have a standing ovation every single night. <gasps> you can see Lovely. emotion in their eyes. It makes us emotional. We feel like the luckiest people in the world. You have little kids in the aisle dancing alongside us. You can actually see people laughing and breathing with us. It's truly magical and they're there at the stage door every night ready to get photos and applaud us and we feel like the luckiest people in the world. It is emotional when you watch it, yeah. doesn't it? It just gets yeah. you going. It just There's something so magical about it. The different audiences change like when you go to different countries so some countries more get out of their seats and kind of go along and dance with you and some countries sort of sit there and kind of watch it like how does it differ there definitely are slight changes but for the most part everyone's up by the end of the show really people clapping. dancing in the aisles clapping yeah and yeah. it's just fantastic that a show like this gets the same reaction everywhere in the world yeah. what's your step count like your step count <laughs> <laughs> the scale. Never mind 10,000. He's going to be up there. Um, and obviously, we've got to ask, how will you guys be celebrating St. Patrick's Day? We will be dancing, Irish dancing, in Ireland, doing what we love on St. Patrick's Day with Riverdance, um, entertaining audiences. Where will you be? Are you, are you in Dublin? On in, in Dublin, in Ireland. Brilliant. Yes. Well, listen, best of luck. Um, so As he already said, yeah. <laughs> Spengali over here. <laughs> Tickets go on sale on the 22nd of March and, um, yeah, for the 30th anniversary tour. Good luck, yeah, guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I know you yeah. do a few little dances for us oh. later on. You may have noticed, everyone, I'm not Daniel O'Donnell or Giles Brandis today, <laughs> but I am wearing a knitted jumper that Giles would be jealous of. So this is very kindly knitted for me and there's a story behind this, which is so it's lovely. lovely. So it's made for me by Belfast-based designer Mary Callan. Thanks, Mary. And uh, our friends at Tourism Ireland and London Irish Centre, which I'm a patron of and do a lot of work with. So this is, like, personal Nice to me, isn't it beautiful? This is the. Do you, anyone it's here to lots Wexford? Of layers. Do you go anyone? Any, any, anyone been to Wexford? Yes. yes. Thank you. Sunny, everyone goes to Wexford because it's called the sunny southeast. And then you get down there, and you're like, 
This isn't sunny <laughs> at all. Um, so basically, there's the lighthouse. That's the Hook Lighthouse, Joe. So what does that um, mean to you, this lighthouse? Oh, then? Well, it's 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 good. well. I mean, the, the, there's another lighthouse called Tusker Lighthouse, which is uh, just off the coast of Ireland. Which is always the last thing you see when you leave Ireland, and the first thing you see when you go home on the ferry. So it's always. Uh, it's a very important icon. Awesome. This is the, the Hook Lighthouse. It's beautiful. It's right in the south coast of Ireland. Uh, I'm loving the, the pints of Guinness. The pints of Guinness, well. obviously, <laughs> the shamrock. The the uh, purple and gold is my my family's home county of Wexford. So my dad used to play oh, hurling lovely. for them, which is that that's, that's the, the hurls, the beautiful there, and the Gaelic football. And then uh, my favourite band are the Pogues. So uh, Shane passed away, and you're the measure oh. of my dreams is one of the fa famous lines from A Rainy Night in Soho, one of their songs. So thank you. What? A really thoughtful sweet. jumper, like yes. every single layer tells a story. It will be that. coming off there. I'm getting quite hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've got a huge respect for Brandreth now. <laughs> so how he does it. to know which one. is which. There's always You're probably one. thinking, what hang on, it? is that River Dance or is that Dermot, Josie and Clodagh? I know, yeah. I'd understand. We're live with you until 12.30 and there's lots to come between now and then. Woo. OK. What would St Patrick's Day be? <laughs> <laughs>